Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. That's Justin's house. In this video, I've got a follow up on business continuity management. I want to send a shout out and a thank you to Lewis, who is one of our viewers on the channel, who left me a comment on one of my BCM or business continuity management uh, videos saying there were some issues he had getting set up when uh, being assigned certain roles. So he's not an admin and he asked to be a BCM admin and that didn't give him what he needs. So let's cover this real quick. I'm going to show you, I'm going to start with the business continuity workspace because I think it illustrates pretty well what the differences in roles are. So to refresh your memory, I'll include a link to a video up above, but on the, I'm in as Scott Hall. He's one of our demo personalities who has everything assigned to him. So what you're about to see is everything that you could possibly see in the workspace. And that's what I use for my demos. So Scott can see his business impact analysis his continuity plans and his exercises. And if I scroll down this outer bar here, he can see a business impact analysis overview that includes processes happening now, action required, and then scroll down a bit further and he can see the business continuity plan overview, okay? So that's like everything that you could possibly see in this workspace. I'm gonna close out of Scott and actually get back into my own account. So I'm just gonna end impersonation there. And what I want to show you is the different roles that come with business continuity management. Now, if you think about it, business continuity management is one of those things where certain people have certain responsibilities depending on what's going on, whether they're planning, whether they're analyzing, whether they're conducting an exercise, or if they are actually responding to a recovery event, right? So I'm just going to search here for SN underscore BCM. And I'm going to show you here, we've got a couple of different roles and you would think that the admin role there at the top, BC underscore admin, is going to give you everything you need. And that is not the case. In fact, I'll go ahead and open the BCM admin role and you'll see that this only contains some of the roles. It contains the plan admin, um, a bigger GRC admin role, business impact analysis admin, program manager, which should you think have everything you need to see, but it doesn't, um, the core manager, and then something for our crisis. Uh, I think that's Everbridge, but uh, Everbridge notifications. So you can see there that there's more roles for BCM than what you're seeing here. So the admin's not gonna inherit all of those things. And when you're talking about plan admins and BIA admins, you're talking about things like creating templates and making sure that whoever is using the system has what they need in order to do their job, to do the, their role. And those roles are things like you see here, and I'm gonna cover them in this order, the program manager, which is right there, the planner, which is someone who can come in and actually do those plans. And then you have things like, uh, we'll spend less time on these contributors, viewers, and recovery team members, and there's an over, overall viewer. So there's a core viewer and overall viewer, but that program manager and planner and then admin are kind of where I think people get tripped up. So luckily in our demo environment, I have roles for each of these uh, or, per, or users for each of these roles. So I'm gonna impersonate BCM admin, and we should see instead of what you saw with Scott Hall when he went to the business continuity management workspace, the admin's going to see a couple of things, but not all three kind of main sections of that workspace. So let's just hop over there real quick. Business continuity, and we'll go to the workspace and let that load up here. And uh, we'll see he's got the impact analysis overview, but notice he's missing his my impact analysis and my continuity plans. So that part is all, all already missing from here. And if I scroll down, it kind of stops there and I got an outer scroll bar and I can see the business continuity plan overview. So a bit of abbreviated workspace experience that if you were just to assign somebody that role, they might be like, hey, Justin's video showed all this other stuff. Why am I not seeing everything? So let's check out another BCM role here, the BCM manager. Now the BCM manager or BCM program manager is someone who has oversight to pretty much the whole process, right? They're kind of managing the end to end process there. So if we go to business continuity workspace, we should see something similar to what Scott Hall saw where there's basically, oh, no, we're not even gonna see the impact analysis in the, in the not the my plans and my impact analysis. So very similar view, uh, I'm glad I didn't say too much, to the admin view. So we've got overview and overview for that program manager or for that manager. So let's go in as the planner now. So we will impersonate BCM planner, and there we go. 
Now the planner is going to have that my impact analysis and my continuity plans because that's their role is to actually go do those planning things. So let's see if that holds true. We'll open up the business continuity workspace and we should be able to see there's that person's impact analyses, the continuity plans. Oh, and I keep forgetting the actual exercises, right? So if we're actually going to try out this stuff. Now notice I don't have anything else. I don't have the overview for impact analyses and the overview for uh, continuity plans. I just have the stuff that's assigned to me. So you're starting to see the shrinking of stuff that people can see in this workspace. Uh, planner has a lot less than the manager had and manager had about the same thing that the admin had. So let's go one step further here and we'll impersonate a different user here that I've got. Whoop, let me click that again. Looks like it's taking a second. I might have to cut this out because it happened to me. Oh, there it goes. Uh, the recovery team member. So this is going to be funny because you're not even going to see the business continuity workspace as this user and not be like, what? Why wouldn't you want the recovery team man or member actually doing that? So if I search for business continuity, I don't get anything or business con. <laughs> I don't get anything. But that user, it should be task focused, right? They should be focusing on the recovery tasks. So if you type in recovery tasks, they do have a menu item in self-service for their recovery tasks that get assigned to them as part of that BCM or business continuity management recovery. So it's really, hey, you don't need to see all this because it's not your role or your responsibility to manage the plans and the analyses and stuff like that. It's just when you get a task assigned to you, you need to complete that task. Let's take a look at one last one here before we end the video and that'll be our BCM viewer. This role is somebody who just has access to view things within business continuity management. They can't change anything um, and they can't modify anything. So let's see. I actually didn't test this one, so I don't know what's going to show up. Okay, they do have business continuity. Um, they don't have the rest of the business continuity menus. Um, there's actually quite an extensive menu system in this all menu browser, but they do have access to the workspace. So let's see in the workspace what they have access to and it looks like just the overview ones like the admin and like the program manager or the manager so they got their business impact analysis overview and i'll scroll down they got the business continuity plan overview now if i click on one of these plans they can sure look at it but because they're a view only role they shouldn't be able to change anything so they can see well this hasn't been configured but um, they should not be able to change anything about these plans or those impact analysis that might be associated or, or associated with them. Uh, yeah, these are the impact analysis. So if I look at a business impact analysis that's in progress for accounts payable that should be configured for the workspace, notice that this viewer role can see everything, but they can't do anything. They can't actually change anything. So all in all, roles are really important in lots of the ServiceNow applications. With business continuity management, there's a lot going on with the planning efforts, the analysis to figure out what kind of plan you should have in place. And then there's the actual exercises and recovery efforts where those people just need to drill into the details they need to see to get their job done and shouldn't be concerned with the planning and overall management of that process. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody who you think is interested in exploring more about business continuity management. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.